Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. Today I wanted to sit down and film kind of a chatty Q&A, but have it be a bit more kind of girl topic related. I asked you guys over on my Instagram. It was under this photo right here. I asked you guys to send me any topics or questions that you had relating to kind of like girl issues or girl topics. And as with all of my Q&As and when I do these types of videos, I try not to look too much at the questions beforehand because I want this to be really raw and on the spot. Let's see what you guys sent in. One of the most top liked questions is, I know you have a a more free schedule since you work for yourself but if you were to work a nine-to-five job like most of us girls how would you balance gym morning routines food and your relationship into your daily week what would be your schedule to help us girls balance the nine-to-five thanks I think this is a really great question especially for a lot of us women who are go-getters we want to do a lot of different things we want to have an amazing job and an amazing career but we also understand the importance of taking care of ourselves of exercising, of eating well, and we also want to have a great relationship and be a good partner and have a good partner in our lives. To also just having a nice home and having it be kept well and so you can come home from your busy day and then walk into an apartment that you feel really good in. So yes, it's definitely a lot to balance. And even though I don't have a set nine to five job, I still have to juggle with this because what happens usually for me is that instead of working from nine to five and you know five you're out of the office you're at home and you can kind of switch that off i tend to carry on like the work mode past 5 p.m so i can sometimes be sitting on my computer at like nine o'clock and still working or finishing up a video or sending an email so it's not always you know greener on the other side i think with both nine to five and if you do have a free schedule both of them need to be managed and balanced well my Advice and what works really well for me in my life is to plan and to try to have a structure and routines that I know I can get certain things done and it's kind of like an automatic and when it comes to our apartment and keeping it clean and just nice to be in I do have my moments where I schedule in like an hour or 45 minutes or even just 30 minutes sometimes to tackle a certain room or you know space in my room like my wardrobes or our desk space or the kitchen or something that just needs to get organized. I do also have a lovely cleaning lady who comes to help me every two weeks to just do like the deep cleaning of the floors and the windows and things like that. And that's again already scheduled in and planned into my calendar. My point is just having things be planned and organized and kind of automated as much as possible. I also think it's nice to pre-plan dates with your partner or with your friend. Again, a few days before the actual day so that you can mentally organize yourself like like, okay, Thursday night, I'm going to meet XYZ. And by this point, I know that I need to have that project done so that it doesn't get overwhelming and you can plan around it. But with that said as well, not being too strict on yourself if it doesn't work out exactly like that. For example, my morning routine. I love my morning routine so much. It's something that I genuinely look forward to. But some days it's just not possible for me to do every single thing that I would love to do in a perfect morning. So I adjust and I see, okay, how am I feeling? If I wake up and I'm not feeling that good, I'm maybe a little bit unmotivated or in need of like a good pick me up, then I will try to do as many of the things in my usual morning routine as possible. So meditation is great. Working out is amazing. Journaling as well is something that I find very therapeutic, but if I wake up up one morning and I'm just buzzing, I'm high on life and I'm feeling super energized and ready to go and I have a lot of things to do that day, then I'll start immediately. So I definitely think it's a combination of both planning and seeing what's important to you, what goals do you want to hit that day, what do you want to accomplish that day, making a list and then fitting it into your schedule, following it to the best of your ability, but also being flexible and knowing you know, when to have a balance. If you missed a workout or something don't be super hard on yourself just try to do it the next day and keep it moving the next question is can you show us what bra you use because it always looks nice on blouses I get so many questions about the underwear and the bras that I have I will show you guys exactly the one that I'm using I actually have it on now so I can't show it to you now but I'll do an insert this is a strapless bra it's from Massimo Dutti I love the fit and the shape of this one in particular the side bands are quite thick and they have this anti-slip kind of little 
rubber piece on the inside so it doesn't fall down as easily i have it in nude i also have it in a black color and those are pretty much the only bras that i like to wear with you know tops like this anything that is strapless or for certain dresses and things where i just don't want the bands to be visible the next question is hi annie are there any days you say you don't like something about your appearance how do you deal with that yes i definitely have days where i don't like what I look like. With age, I think I've come to realize that everyone has those days and I think also what we see about ourselves is not always what other people see. I think our mind has a really good way of exaggerating and making things a lot bigger in our head than what is actually reality. I think a part of that has to do with, you know, the wanting to fit in and belong to a community or to a group. We're afraid that if we're different or that if people don't like something about us, then we'll be shunned away and will be left alone basically i think with social media now and the fact that you can see you know hundreds of thousands of different people just by going on this little device whereas in the past you pretty much would only compare yourself to your friends maybe your family your neighbors and things like that but you didn't have this outlet of thousands and thousands of people sharing themselves online first of all if there is something that you don't like about yourself that's changing and in a healthy way then go for it so if it is something that really bothers you like maybe you are very much overweight and you don't like that feeling I've been there then lose the weight get healthy that's something that you can change but then if it's something like your height I mean we cannot do anything to change our height that's just something that you've got to accept about yourself and start loving about yourself and you know it's part of you I also try to remind myself if I am feeling down about a certain physical thing or whatever and I can't change it I try to get out of my own head and not just look at myself as a physical body but I try to think about you know like maybe the personality things that I love about myself my character my values what I stand for what I can bring to the world and not have it be just about like physical things so I think changing your perspective is really important here as well to just not like get so tied up and so focused on things that are maybe not so important at the end of the day. But just know to anyone out there who maybe looks in the mirror and feels that they don't like something about themselves, every single person on this planet feels the same. I don't think that there's anyone out there who feels 100% perfect in what they look like don't think that you're alone or that you're weird or crazy for thinking like that because trust me everyone has insecurities even the most beautiful confident successful person that you see on tv or that you meet in real life they also have their struggles so try not to worry just keep your head up and focus on the good in your life the next question is what sunscreen to use every day and under your makeup so there are a few different ones that i like i'll do an insert here of the three sunscreens that I really like at the moment. All of these are physical based sunscreens as opposed to chemical ones. I find that physical ones are a lot more gentle on the skin and better if you have acne prone or sensitive skin because chemical sunscreens can sometimes irritate the skin and that can cause more acne. And so I want to avoid that as much as possible so these three are really good. I would say for under makeup the bare mineral ones is really good and if you do have a bit more of an oilier skin texture I would highly recommend the one from Ren. That that one has a matte finish and the ingredients are really clean so it's great for again sensitive or acne prone skin I will have all three of them below in the description box if you guys want to read more about them the next question is your skin always looks so perfect how do you keep it so smooth what do you do in terms of shaving exfoliating fake tanning moisturizing etc I have a few videos on the topic of exfoliation I will have them linked below but exfoliating is so so key I like both a physical exfoliant to something like a scrub but I also also do chemical exfoliants. I use certain masks and toners that have a blend of AHAs and BHAs and those will help to eat away at the dead skin cells, it will help to rejuvenate the skin and promote new cell growth. So exfoliation is really important. I do also shave my face which I've made a whole video about. I use a little razor for your brows and I will gently shave away the little baby fuzz on my face and it also gets rid of a lot of dead skin cells as well which is great. Moisturizing and hydrating your skin after 
exfoliation is also so important so whenever i do a deep treatment like a deep exfoliating treatment i always make sure to pack on the moisture i love thicker balms and more richer creams for the nighttime so that when i go to bed it's just all infusing itself into my skin and making it nice and plump and supple feeling of course diet is really important we cannot not talk about diet when it comes to skin you guys know if you've seen any of my other skincare videos drinking a lot of water having a diet that's rich in greens and antioxidants and nutrients is so so key for your skin and with fake tanning I don't actually use any tanning products on my skin or on my face but I do love a good bronzer I really like the one from Too Faced the chocolate soleil that's a great one to try and that's usually what I have on my face and then a good um, glowy highlighter is always nice as well so it's a combination of a lot of different things but I think if you just take it in small steps and you have your you know routines in place like having a good skincare routine is really really important and making sure that you are eating well that you're staying hydrated I think all of that helps a lot with your skin the next question is about hair removal there was actually a few about hair removal um, one of the questions was I want to know how you wax or how you can manage to look so perfect down there. <laughs> this is a girl talk video, so let's go there. Um, I used to wax for the longest time. That was my method of choice for hair removal. I like the fact that you get rid of the root of the hair so the skin is even more soft and supple. And when it grows back, for me, it used to grow back thinner and thinner. With shaving, you can often get redness or bumps or ingrown hairs. And when I did use to shave down there, I always felt like it was kind of itchy when it grew back as this teeth. TMI. But I also think that good exfoliation is really important for that area as well if you are going to be shaving or even if you're just waxing just in general skin has to be exfoliated on whichever part of your body so even under your arms your chest your back your legs it's really important for the skin to keep itself regenerating and rejuvenating itself and if there's too many dead skin cells just like piling piling up not only does it make your skin look very dull but it prevents your body from producing new skin cells that can come to the surface and I'm not saying that you have to go and like rub yourself like crazy and make your red that's not the point but just a general gentle exfoliation a few times per week I think is really helpful especially for the skin down there but now what I like to do is I do laser hair removal treatments. I think it's been about a year and a half now since I've been doing it and um, it's worked really really well with laser hair removal though you do have to do it for a few sessions before you see any results and especially if you have my type of skin tone that's a little bit darker it does take a bit more time with laser hair removal you are burning the root of the hair so that that hair doesn't grow back and it does take some time but it should be a pretty permanent solution to completely get rid of your hair I do it on my legs I do it from my toes to pretty much my belly button and then under my arms and when the hair does grow back between the sessions it's very very thin and light and you just have to shave it um, between sessions you can't wax because the root needs to be there to burn off basically those are going to be the questions that i answered today there were quite a few questions that i've already talked about in previous videos questions relating to birth control that was a big topic here and also about breakups and how to get over a broken heart or difficult situations i will have those videos and blog posts actually because there are a few that are in blog posts i will have them linked below in the description box and you guys can check out those answers for those types of questions i'll probably also do a follow-up um, separate post on my blog answering some more of these questions that you guys sent in because there were a lot of good ones so check down below in the description box for that post as well and yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who sent in their questions i love you guys so much and i hope you're all having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys <laughs>